Now let's see the details about the multitask contextual network or you can say the MTC net. So in the bottom you can see the paper for this architecture. MTC net or multitask contextual network is for food semantic segmentation to assess the nutrient intake for hospitalized patients. Semantic experiments using MTC net are performed on nutrient intake assessment database. This network consists of a novel multitask contextual network for food item segmentation, classification with few short learning based algorithm built by limited training samples for food recognition and 3D food surface extraction. The proposed system provides the fully automatic solution to assess the nutrient intake for hospitalized patients because to maintain good nutritional status is of a vital importance for both patients and social medical systems. So here is the architecture for MTC net. So here you can see the input image and then ResNet 50 is used to extract the feature pyramids. Here you can see the four different feature pyramids. Then you can observe the food branch over here and you can also see the plate branch over here if you notice the convolution and upsampling operations on both food branch and plate branch are same and after applying the convolution and upsampling layers these are the concatenated and finally you can see the deconvolution layer is applied on both sides on the plate branch side you can see after the convolution layer there is a plate segmentation but for the food segmentation the contextual layer is applied on the plate branch features and then it is added to the food branch and then you can see there is a prediction for the food so MTC net takes a color image as in input and outputs are segmentation maps of the food type and the plate type simultaneously. This network employs a pyramid feature map fusion architecture that features a large receptive field and thus able to overcome the problem of confusing the food type as commonly occurred in semantic segmentation algorithms. In addition as we have seen the contextual relation between the food and the plate type is enhanced by a newly proposed contextual layer which further improves segmentation accuracy. Initially a feature map is generated using a pre-trained dilated ResNet 50. Then by applying the average pooling on this feature map with four different pooling sizes, four pyramid feature maps are generated. Then for both food and plate segmentation branches, the pyramid feature maps of each level are fused and concatenated with the initial feature map from ResNet 50 through a convolution layer and an upsampling layer which resizes the feature maps using interpolation. The convolution layers used here are all with 1 cross 1 kernel size and 512 output channels which equals to one fourth of the initial channels in order to maintain the relative weight of the initially encoded features. Finally, two deconvolution layers with the same kernel size of 8 cross 8 are applied for both food and plate prediction with channel numbers of 8. And also note that the final food prediction indicating image segments of each food item and corresponding hyperfood category has incorporated the contextual relation between the food and the plate provided by the CT layer, which is basically a convolution layer adopted upon the plate prediction with 3 cross 3 kernel size and 8 output channels. All the convolution and deconvolutional layers are followed by the batch normalization layers and ReLU activation layers except the two prediction layers each of which is followed by a softmax layer so here you can see the overview of the mtc net pipeline so input image before the meal and input image after the meal is supplied to the food segmentation network or mtc network for the food segmentation and after that few short learning algorithms are used for food item recognition and then consumed volume is estimated here you can see the 3d surface of the food and finally you can see the nutrient intake is estimated here you can see the calories cho proteins fat salt and fiber that food contains so you can conclude that food segmentation is used to estimate the volume and further to estimate the nutrient intake of the food.